So we are starting the chapter of gases now and the first topic you are going to do under gases is kinetic theory of gases. So some of the formulae you have to remember in this chapter or at least for this video is uh, energy Ek that is the average kinetic energy is equal to half m u square where m is the mass and u is the speed. And uh, the another formula is u re root mean square velocity equals square root of 3RTM where M is the molar mass. Then the ratio of the true uh, root mean square velocity is inversely proportional to the molar mass. So we will be doing some questions now based on these formulae. So let's define uh, what are these gases in some few postulates called as kinetic theory of gases. The particles in a gas are separated by a large distance and individual molecules occupy negligible volume and the second one is they move freely around and they collide with each other but when they collide with each other they do not lose any energy and we call this as elastic collision and the third postulate is these molecules do not attract or ripple each other then the fourth postulate the more important one is the average kinetic energy of these gases is proportional to temperature the average kinetic energy is represented as Ek and that's proportional to temperature. Or in other words, you should a point to be noted here is the average kinetic energy depends only on temperature. As we just said, the average kinetic energy is proportional to temperature and it depends only on temperature. So how do we measure it? The formula for average kinetic energy Ek equals um, a half m u square and the average kinetic energy of different gases at the same temperature will be the same. So what I mean by this look at the formula Ek equals half m u square. So if um, the Ek has to be same that is the average uh, energy kinetic energy for any molecule at a particular temperature should be same. So if you have a heavier molecule it will have a lesser velocity. So the heavier molecules will move slowly or a lighter molecule will move faster but the average kinetic energy at a particular temperature will be same for all gases. So let me introduce one more term called as the root mean square velocity and root mean square velocity is equal to square root of 3RT divided by M where R is the gas constant, T is the temperature in Kelvin m is the molar mass and we can compare the root mean square velocity of two gases by taking their ratios and uh, root mean square velocity of gas 1 divided by gas 2 is equal to square root of their molar masses m2 over m1. So our root mean square velocity is actually inversely proportional to the molar mass. Heavier the, we saw it with kinetic energy also, heavier the gas La lesser its speed will be. So the first question we are going to do is determine the speed at which hydrogen will move as compared to ammonia at same temperature. So hydrogen is definitely a lighter gas and ammonia is a um, heavier gas. So let's apply the formula and calculate it. Root mean square velocity of hydrogen divided by root mean, veloc root mean square velocity of ammonia is equal to square root of molar mass of ammonia that's uh, 70 divided by uh, the molar mass of hydrogen I'm taking it as 2 and um, when you solve this I get the answer is 2.9 so what does it mean is the velocity of hydrogen is 2.9 times faster than ammonia quite obvious because hydrogen being a lighter gas will move faster What is the root mean square velocity of carbon dioxide at 300 degrees Celsius? The value of R is given. The formula you are going to use is square root of 3RT divided by M. And when you look at that, the value of R, they have given it, use, use it as 8.314. And the value of R, since it has the unit of joules, which is in fact kilogram meter square second ne negative 2, and uh, hence the unit of molar mass should be in kilograms. 
So the only thing which you have to notice, you take the unit of molar mass in kilograms and all the questions wherever R comes or all the questions wherever in which whatever you are doing in this chapter of gases, the unit of temperature is Kelvin. So don't forget to add 273 to the temperature and convert it into Kelvin and uh, the rest the calculation is easy and you can calculate the root mean square velocity. Hydrogen gas is at 25 degrees Celsius and methane is at 350 degrees Celsius. Predict which gas will move faster. So let's calculate the root mean square velocity for hydrogen. Substitute all the values. Uh, remember to convert temperature into Kelvin and uh, molar mass in the unit of kilograms and I get the root mean square velocity of hydrogen 1928 meters per second. Similarly calculate the root mean square velocity of methane again use the molar mass in kilograms and temperature in uh, Kelvin and calculate the root mean square velocity and you realize that the speed of hydrogen is much larger than that of methane hydrogen will move faster so in spite of hydrogen being at a lower temperature it's a lighter gas much lighter gas than uh, methane and hence hydrogen will move faster At what temperature argon will have the same speed as helium at 35 degrees Celsius? Uh, let's uh, calculate the uh, root mean square velocity. The formula for root mean square velocity for argon is written there and that for helium also I have put in. So the temperature for argon T we have to find out and helium temperature I have converted into Kelvin and I have put it as 308 Kelvin and uh, since the value of R uh, when I am going to equate the two root mean square velocity, the value of R will get cancelled. That is the reason the molar mass is not converted into kilograms. If you want, you can do with uh, convert that into kilograms, but the final answer is going to be the same. So now uh, make the two, uh, the, they have asked him at what temperature they will have the same speed. So let the two root mean square velocities make it equal and then uh, R will get cancelled, the number 3 will get cancelled and you will be, uh, you are left with the temperatures and then uh, calculate the value of temperature and uh, as I said it is really not necessary to calculate the, uh, to convert the grams into kilograms. When the temperature was calculated, the answer will come in Kelvin. If you want, you can report it in the unit of Celsius by subtracting 273 from that. Identify the gas that travels 1.62 times slower than oxygen at 0 degree Celsius. So apply the formula. So what do you mean by 1.62 times slower than oxygen? This also means that oxygen travels faster by 1.62 times or the ratio of the root mean square velocity of oxygen to the other unknown gas is 1.62. So write 1.62 is equal to the molar mass of the slower gas divided by the molar mass of oxygen. Since there is no R involved here, I am not converting it into kilograms. I am using the unit of grams only. And uh, in order to solve this, square, uh, um, square both sides and I get uh, and calculate the value of molar mass and I get the molar mass as 83.9 grams per mole. So refer to the periodic table and you will realize that this gas is krypton or in other words oxygen travels 1.62 times faster than krypton.